Okay, so the question is, what are the different levels in heaven? And um, I'm going to put a, or my editor is going to put a picture on now. That's going to help you understand this, so you can look at that. So the first heaven we will find in um, Genesis, almost said Galatians, in Genesis 1 <laughs> verse 20, um, Uranos. Am I pronouncing it right? Yes, so Uranus is the Greek word for, for heaven. Yeah. And um, in, in Hebrew here in, in Genesis 1 verse 20, it will be Shemaim. Shemaim. Yeah. So read Genesis 1 verse 20 for us. Okay, so then God said, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures and let f birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens, so that that heavens is the literal place where birds fly. Yeah, and that's and that's what they call the atmosphere, or here yeah, Uranos, Genesis one verse twenty that we're referring to, and then the second heaven we're going to look at is basically um, they call it the cosmos, where the stars are, where the planets are. You have to plan it carefully, <laughs> where the stars and planets are. And the Valise is going to read us a, a, a scripture um, in Deuteronomy, right? Deuteronomy one verse ten. 1 verse 10, yeah. Deuteronomy 1 verse 10 speaks about the second heaven. Okay, cool, yeah. So, um, the Lord your God has multiplied here uh, you, and here you are today as the stars of heaven. So, it says literally where the stars are, that's that heaven. Okay, so we get the atmosphere or the Uranus, then the cosmos, the second heaven. Then the third heaven, I want to speak about this. This is the place where, where, where God dwells. This is the... This is the this is the place where the, where we where we will find the throne the uh, the throne room of God. Throne Sorry, room. and we will find that in Second Corinthians twelve verse two. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh my goodness! So many. Yeah. They pages. also call this God's dwelling place. Yes. So this is the heaven. When we so usually speak about heaven, this is the one we're speaking about. Yeah. The third heaven is kind of like what we just call heaven. The other one is called sky and the other one's called space. <laughs> okay, so uh, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 2, um, Paul's writing, he says, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in body, I do not know, whether out of the body, I do not know, but God knows, he was caught up into the third heaven. I know such a man, whether in body I, or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, he was caught up into paradise mm. and heard inexpressible words so paradise, what we call heaven, that is the third heaven. Okay. And I just want to say this. Jesus Christ came from the third heaven to the first, to the, to the atmosphere or to planet Earth, who's actually not part of heaven, but um, who, came to, who came to planet Earth from the third heaven to have a relationship with us, to one day take us to the third heaven. And... Um, I want to say this, the main focus on everything right now, and I think we say this in every single video, the main focus is our personal relationship with, with Jesus Christ. You know, um, the disciples also prayed and they said, um, when Jesus taught these disciples to pray, they said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So his, his goal was to bring heaven down to earth. And that's really the presence um, of Jesus Christ in our life. So this is the third heavens, if we can explain it, the three heavens, if we can explain it like this. And then we're going to, then they asked about heaven coming down to earth. So before Jesus Christ um, opened the heavens, you know, he was crucified, he was on earth for 40 days, then he went up, opened the heavens. Before that, they were in a, the, 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 the Jews who believed in God, they couldn't go to heaven yet. Heaven wasn't open yet. They were they were caught up in a place called Abram's bosom. So the village will quickly explain to you guys what Abram's bosom was all about. Yeah, so before Jesus, there were people that believed in God for salvation, including Abraham, Moses, Joshua, David. And those guys were in the presence of God, but they were not in heaven. They were kind of like, let's say, outside the gates of heaven, but not outside the grace of God. Their sins, God, they had faith that God will forgive their sin. Hmm. And because of Jesus, their sin will be forgiven or is forgiven. But by that time, Jesus had not yet died for them. So they were waiting for the salvation of God in Abraham's bosom. So it's just like heaven pre-Jesus. <laughs> and then obviously Jesus went and he opened the heavens and then at the second coming of Christ, the Bible says, I see, I see a new heaven 
um, open and then what's going to happen then is heaven and earth is going to connect and what's going to open then is the new Jerusalem where we're going to where we're going to live forever so here we get Abram's bosom we get heaven and the place where, where we're going to live in eternity is called new Jerusalem if you if you look at the other side if I can just ask this if you if you look at hell you get you get Hades you get hell where it is right now and then you get the lake of fire where people are going to live Gehenna yeah. Gehenna yeah Gehenna is the lake of fire where people are going to live eternally but for we who are believers um, we're going to go to a place or we're going to live in a place called the new Jerusalem for eternity where we are going to receive eternal rewards yeah. that we are very excited about so um, yeah those are the heavens I hope we explained it to you guys in a way that you can understand it thank you for the question if you have any questions please mail us and we will love to make some more videos like this uh, may God bless you